Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at some freeware sceneries in Japan. These are sceneries that cover sections of a city, a uh, number of buildings rather than just one particular site or feature. And we are beginning in Kobe, or Kobe. And we'll take a look at how Kobe looks first without the mod and then add the mod in and see how it looks then. Hopefully I will notice the feature quickly and uh, notice the difference. So yeah, uh, the Kobe City mod is from Kaze and Kaze has also done Nagoya, Osaka and Fukuoka. So a number of places covered by the same modder, but we'll also take a look at mods from other contributors. All of these are on flightsim.to and I'll post links. So Kobe, uh, well, uh, is not a photogrammetry city, first of all, let's just say. It does have one site at it, Kobe Tower. We can see one large building there, another large building off the side. Certainly the area could do with some work. We've only got sort of generic sort of things, a lot of low-lying things. Oh, I think I see Kobe Tower now. It's right in front of us. So that's a point of interest right there at our left wing tip right there. So that's the one contribution to the city from the Japan update. But otherwise, it's all fairly generic. Some obviously interesting buildings based on the photo scenery that we see there are not even rendered, so we'll see what the mod gives us. Okay, on to Osaka. I still have not completed my prefecture tour of Japan, but I might as well see what scenery mods we can add before continuing that. So going up river, Osaka city center is uh, a little ways to the east. So this is the stock version of Osaka. Sorry for the clouds, but it gives a certain ambience. Now these are just stock buildings. Yeah, this area itself could do some work, I think. Something weird is going on over there. That's probably Osaka Castle grounds. Not sure. But that sort of moat-like formation is commonly associated with castles. Yeah, all in all, uh, it doesn't look like the update brought a whole lot of work on Osaka. Let's see. Let me uh, add the point of interest markers in. Okay, so anything around here we should be aware of. If there are seriously no points of interest in Osaka, that's sort of sad. We go upriver to Kyoto, which is another city that will have some improvements from the mods, hopefully. So Biwako uh, refers to the Lake Biwa area, which is right around Kyoto. So basically the area up this river is handled by Macmillan's mods. Well, the Lake Biwa area might be a little bit too stormy for us to really put up with the real world weather at this rate. I asked for more clouds and I got some, but still there's still blue patches. Anyway. This town perched on top of the hill is, seems fancy. I mean, it's just a nice view, I would imagine. That's Kyoto up ahead. Is the Imperial Palace not a point of interest? I guess not. Wow. Hmm. I suppose that must be the palace grounds. I don't think anything else is quite as ostentatious around here. Indeed, looking at a map of sites, there really isn't 
anything in the Osaka area or in Kyoto. Other cities like Tokushima and Takamatsu have gotten photogrammetry, but not not Osaka or Kyoto. And apparently the Imperial Palace is not a special site. I'm going to throw in the mods that are covering Kobe, Osaka, and the Kyoto area and see what we get. Well, we can see the point of interest marker for Kobe Tower. We'll just head towards that. I already see quite a few more buildings it looks like. Let's not go too fast. Actually even on this island here. Maybe there's something new, I don't know. It took a while to load though, I have to say. They, there's some custom stuff here for sure. Yeah, this is obviously looking much better here. You can see the Kobe Tower environs now have now has some extra interesting buildings, especially that one to our left that we just passed. You can see it's basically turned into a full photogrammetry area here. And this is thanks to Kaze, K-A-Z-E on flightsim.to. This area here. Kaze also uh, did some work on Osaka, so we will see that. So that's looking pretty good. Sometimes photogrammetry adapted from other stuff doesn't turn out perfect, but that's good enough for me. You know, sometimes the textures are not are a little bit off. In fact, just from this distance already, you can see that Osaka is way busier than it used to be. You can see the skyline from here. Of course, in general, photogrammetry models seem to have somewhat of a different shading than the other models in the game. They tend to look darker, and we can sort of see them easier from a distance as a result. Well, unfortunately, the models are sort of glistening. It needs more anti-aliasing, I think. Yeah, this is not the best effect right now from a distance. And it's gotten a little bit laggier. Okay, but up close things are looking nice. Got a nice stadium here that we didn't have before. None of these, I mean these are all photogrammetry buildings underneath us. We can tell that they're all custom and that's nice. That tower, maybe a little bit of work there. This little area looks very nice. Well, Osaka Castle Grounds looks more like Osaka Castle Grounds for sure. That's looking proper. As expected. So this is very good. Osaka is a pretty big city to sort of ignore, right? <laughs> I mean, it's not a small city. I saw a big tower off in the distance over there. I'm going to fly to it. Interesting building over here. I don't know if that turned out quite right. The scenery is much more extensive than I thought it would be. It covers more area than I was expecting. So that's nice. Uh, considering its size, I mean, it's actually pretty lightweight considering how much it's got. Okay, we're going to go upriver to see the Kyoto Lake, Lake Biwa area. Okay, yeah, this uh, this scenery around Kyoto, I can see the anti-aliasing sparkle of the buildings, but it's it's too much for my system, I think. It's taking a lot to load it. Yeah, it's very sticky. Maybe the Osaka Kobe scenery was loaded on the loading into the airport though. So it's possible that approaching it from elsewhere would cause this sort of stickiness too, I'm not sure. Well, we've got some points of interest though. Wow, but here we are sort of frozen right here. Hmm. 
Katsura Misono. I don't know what that is, but it's right there. Well, that's in the mountainside. I can't really approach properly like this. Now mind you this, uh, the combination of four different packages, Kyoto Uji City, East Biwako, Kyoto City, and South Biwako. So a lot is going on here. You could probably install a few of those and probably won't have as much impact. Well, let's see if we've got an Imperial Palace though. I think maybe there are too many points of interest markers. Uh, I, I'm sure uh, these are important buildings and all. Uh, I don't know what they are. Well, there's Kyoto Gosho. I don't know exactly what that means, but... Kyoto Concert Hall, I understand. Okay, let's head closer to the lake. So yeah, this obviously covers quite a large area too. Kyoto Zoo. Heinan Jingu. Temple, I suppose. It looks like on this side of the hills... Are these programmatory or just regular? I think there's regular stuff over here. So... Yeah, around here we're back to stock buildings. Well, there's more photogrammetry close to Lake Biwa. Those will be part of the East and South Biwako packages, probably. Mm, this will be part of South. Yeah, there's photogrammetry again. And there's all South Biwako. So now that everything's loaded, it's much smoother. But it took a while for it to load everything as we were flying. So something to watch out for. This is all also photogrammetry. Yep. So that's what's added by these mods from Kaze and Macmillan. Next up, we're going to take a look at Fukuoka. And we're going to take a look at Aomori and Tokyo. And also Nagoya Station and Castle from Kaze as well. Okay, we are in Fukuoka. which also has thunderstorms and I don't ex I don't recall too many tall well there's a tall building over there uh, well let's fly towards that but in general I don't remember a whole lot of tall buildings in Fukuoka now there are two separate mods for Fukuoka Kaze's and Samsine 3D and just out of curiosity I'll try Samsine 3D's after this flight but this is stock right now so it, it's arrayed around a bay as you can see from the map and that one tower looks suspicious like probably it needs to be replaced by something else everything is stock building though we do not have any points of interest in sight. Yeah, this black pillar isn't doing it for me, and there's probably a stadium over there. And that, actually, this is nice. Uh, a triangular building? I haven't seen a whole lot of those. That's very interesting. But yeah, we'd like that stadium at least, if possible. Or whatever it is. I'm just presuming a stadium. So, okay. Yeah, we'll see how the mod changes this area. Okay, now we're at Fukuoka with the mod by Samsine 3D. And again, this is a freeware mod, even though Samsine 3D does produce payware mods. And in particular, one for the Tokyo area and also one for Hong Kong, I've seen. But let's see how this is. 
It's about two gigabytes, uh, unzipped. Uh, for some reason the buildings right here don't seem to pop up, but further out from the airport, maybe there's a separate Fukuoka airport scenery, and the area around the airport is covered by that, which would make sense. But over here we have our photogrammetry stuff. Now. That's a nice island. Didn't really notice that before. It looks like this is the limits of the scenery because these are stock buildings over here. Hard to really appreciate the details though as we get close. The buildings are of the smaller kind but if you, you know, they're not huge towers or anything but if you get close it looks sort of muddy as far as the textures are concerned so it's a trade-off. The question is whether I want to keep the scenery in or not for the effect. There was that tower near the near the bay. Let's head over there. Like we can see it still. Well, it doesn't look like whatever this circular object is, we did not get it. I, I assume it's not just a circle in the ground and that it is supposed to be a stadium or something. And this triangular tower is still what it is. So that hasn't been improved. I'm feeling like I'm not getting many striking sights and overall the affected area is fairly contained. Right? This is all stock that we're flying over right now. And you can see the glittering area in front, the sort of darker shade. That's the part that's covered by the mod. Sort of a square. But there's a lot of the city that isn't really covered. I appreciate at least that it performs well, but the area that is covered doesn't seem to include any really... I mean, there might be a few sites that I'm missing, but nothing really stands out too much. So yeah, this uh, Fukuoka is sort of a judgment call. I'll have to try out the one by Kaze, who did the, the Kobe and the Osaka, and that is about half the size of this one so I don't know what it'll cover but I'll just have to take a look at that separately we're already going to be going to another scenery by Kaze next which is Nagoya Station and Castle so let's see what that looks like okay so here we are at Nagoya and I should be approaching what would be the Nagoya Castle grounds which the mod will add but we are still in stock right now I think the castle should be here. This is this looks like a castle ground to me. So yeah, it would be here. I don't know where Nagoya Station is, but that would be around. I don't know what else the mod actually adds, but at least the castle is supposed to be what it adds. So the mod is just called Nagoya Station and Castle. Castle and Station, Station and Castle. Uh, but it does look like we've got some buildings, so it's underselling. We can see basically the city center over there has been redone, I think. Got a little bit of lag starting out, but I think we've smoothed out now. So the effect is obvious from a distance here. I don't know where the castle... I thought it was around here somewhere. I mean, this looked like the castle grounds right in front of us, but it doesn't seem changed. This area has been changed. This block here. It's a very small mod, this one. So I wasn't expecting too much. I guess this is a station area. We can see the tracks. So that looks nice. Certainly that's worthwhile. But I don't know where the castle is. Oh no, I see the castle now. Now from a distance I see where it was in the grounds. It just wasn't obvious when I passed over it first. So mainly it's that uh, city block near the station, but then we have the castle here. Just that right there. Otherwise the rest of the castle grounds haven't been changed, which is why I didn't realize that there had been any change there. But we've got the building at least. So okay, so that's what the mod does for Nagoya. Let's head over to Awamori.
Aomori is not the biggest city in the first place, certainly compared to the others that we've been looking at. So I don't know what the mod will add to it. But let's just take a look at what it looks like right now. It sure doesn't look like it has a whole lot of tall buildings. Well, here it is. At least the weather is decent. Well, yeah. Lots of little buildings. We will see what happens. Is there supposed to be a big building at Aomori? I don't know. It's not giving any sign of them. Well, uh, I mean, there's wide buildings, just not tall ones. Let's put it that way. Well, there seems to be a cloud hanging over Aomori. We can sort of see that the tan has been changed by the mod. It's actually lighter than other photogrammetry cities tend to be. So, it's mainly the area inside this highway here. And we can see the buildings. Uh, there wasn't much lag. There isn't much lag now. It's not a super complicated area. We do see some interesting buildings. That we did not see before. This actually seems somewhat more, more worthwhile than Fukuoka did. I don't remember seeing this bridge either. Considering the low impact, this isn't too bad. And also Aomori very often might be a place of departure as we go across the Bering Strait. There's an interesting building over here. Couldn't quite get the best look at it. So, okay. There are things here. So that's Aomori with the mod. It's a lot of folders in the community folder, though, I have to say. The way it's structured, there are 38 folders associated with this Aomori mod. And the total size... Oh, there's sort of a weird water effect, too. So the size is 1.6 gigabytes, so I don't know if, uh, if I'm that desperate for this area. It's not, it's good work. It's very smooth. Okay, well I wanted to take a look at Tokyo before I added the Enhanced Tokyo Mod by Hero in. But finally I think I have to turn off the real world weather. <laughs> this is going to be too much. We're at Atsugi. Arrow, uh, so that we can approach Tokyo from a good distance because we're interested in the environs not the core of it which is already with photogrammetry but yeah let's just have a few clouds ah I had forgotten that Yokohama is already a photogrammetry area so we see the photogrammetry of Yokohama I'm a little bit high here but this is the stock photogrammetry at Yokohama and then around Kawasaki there isn't gonna be anything Kawasaki's the area close to Haneda Airport as well as Ota and Shinagawa so we can see very visibly the end of the photogrammetry area of Yokohama here but also the Tokyo skyline up ahead so what we're interested from the mod is for it to cover some of this area between Yokohama and Tokyo and then also to the east possibly to the north as well and, but it's a little bit choppy already so if the mod adds more stuff is it gonna be even worse? that is the question because Tokyo already is a lot to deal with. In fact, it sort of stopped giving us full buildings around here. 
I think because of all the buildings in Tokyo, it sort of decided not to do the buildings around here, which is not good. You can see this is just a flat terrain. It's a little bit shaded, but it hasn't got 3D buildings around. The stock photogrammetry area is what we see there. Pretty extensive. I mean, to be honest, I'm quite happy with the areas that are covered by the stock games photogrammetry. That's quite a lot already. I would like at some point to fly a really slow plane down the roadways and all. And see how things look up close. Tokyo Sky Tree, Sky Tree is covered by the area. Uh, basically everything over here at the north here is not. Okay, last but not least, we are at Tokyo. And here, of course, we are still taking off from RJTA, and so we are south of Tokyo and Yokohama. But I expect you can already see the frame rate is suffering somewhat. We'll slow down. Again, we'll probably need fairly slow planes to really enjoy it. To a large extent, that area has been filled in. There's some Z fighting on that bridge there. It's annoying. But so this is a new area that's added by this mod by Hero. Hmm. Yeah, there's some Z fighting on the buildings. Some pleasant and that bridge over there. There's a lot of little errors that need to be fixed in hopefully subsequent versions of the mod. This is all still photogrammetry as well. So basically, uh, it's four gigabytes and it adds photogrammetry to a lot of other areas, but I think the quality suffers, uh, partly maybe because of my hardware. Four gigabytes is probably not enough to do such a large expanse justice, but I don't think we could load more in, given the fact that Yokohama and Tokyo are already photogrammetry. So, uh, you can sort of see the buildings down below us. It doesn't seem very distinct, right? The individual houses and such. It looks like maybe I will leave this out. And again, it might be just my hardware limitations. It can't render all this at the same time. And obviously we're pretty far out from what the scenery had covered before and still we're over photogrammetry here. If we take a look at Tokyo Sky Tree, which is way over there, you can barely... Oh, uh, wait. Uh, you can barely see Tokyo Sky Tree over there. This is way out from the areas that were previously covered. Uh, you can sort of see Shinjuku there. So yeah, there's a huge swath, but because it's such a huge swath, the quality of it is not that great given the amount of space it takes. So I'm not too sure it's worth it. From from higher up, it'd be okay. But then from higher up, do you really need it? That's a whole other thing. Some of the more distinct buildings, of course, would be helped. The ground textures themselves, because there's so many other textures to load, the ground textures don't look great right now. This is definitely the kind of scenery that could crash your game if you're not careful. I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM, and this is how it is. Uh, 8 gigs on the video card. Okay, so that will be my verdict for now. This one I'll probably have to leave out. But I'll look forward to any updates with it. And perhaps the ability of the my system or the game to handle things better. But with this, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.